Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause. I am at this next trailhead. It's Canaan Loop. There's a bunch of videos on it. It's supposed to be a pretty nice trail, but I'm about a mile away from the trailhead. I want to show you something. This is a little pullout that I'm that I'm at. There's a car. But look at all that scenery. That is absolutely beautiful. America. All right, so uh, let's get in the truck and head to the truck. All right, so I'm on Canaan Loop and I wasn't gonna air down because I'm lazy, but seeing what's coming, yeah, might as well just air down. Let me show you. So it was a paved road that turned into this and the trail goes that way. I wanted to see what this little fork here was all about. I think it's a campsite. Yeah, it stops. Right there, there's a fire ring. Literally been on the trail for about a minute and came across a pretty nice campsite, I guess. Back right into that. But I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep looking. I'm just gonna air down these tires. little campsite but look how muddy it is it's just soupy all the campsites I've seen all have looked like this so I'm gonna keep going down the trail see what else we can find Too muddy. What a pain in the butt. All right, let's keep adventuring. <laughs> All right, so good news. Uh, as soon as I passed the tree, there was a sign that said uh, Forest Service Road maintained. Uh, so 
now I am on a still a trail, but it's uh, it's a lot easier. Which that last part of Canaan Loop was really fun. I'm glad I did the hard part first. Uh, usually people come in the way I'm exiting. They start on the eastern part of the loop and uh, circle up. But because I was over on Canyon Rim Road, it was 20 minutes to the trailhead of the western side of the loop. So now again, like before, the goal is to find a dry camping spot at this point. I don't even care if there's space for the dogs to run. <laughs> I just don't want it muddy, a mud pit, you guys can see. Still a couple ruts, nothing like before. Jackpot. First of all, let me just show you this because it's beautiful. <laughs> that's really cool. But that's not the jackpot. So I'm almost at the end of the trail and I'm thinking to myself, I'm not gonna find anything. There's a couple of, there's quite a few camp spots, dispersed camp spots but they're off the road and I don't like that. But here's the road that I was, I'm going down, I'm going in that direction. But there's a cutout here, pretty cool water crossing. And right on the other side is a camp spot. Now, ideally I wouldn't want to see the road, but at this point, beggars can be choosers and this is actually a beautiful spot. So let's go. What's up here? Oh, let's go a little bit further. If not, I'll turn around and that'll be our spot. I don't know if you guys can see that it ends right there is a gate. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. All right. We have made it to our spot. A little muddy. That's all right. Love that the water is down there. A little river crossing. Nice little fire pit. The truck is level, ish. Ah, uh ah, -uh. ah, uh ah. -uh. That's your boundary right there, homegirl. Yeah. All right, let's let's set up camp. I'm gonna try something different. I am going to put this up here and then sleep with the dogs in the uh in the back i did the same same thing with the uh, commander first night i used the tent the second night i tried it out inside just to see didn't bring my diesel heater and temperature's supposed to drop tonight so figure have the dogs inside with me and uh yeah we should be fine should fit all right so because i am putting myself and the dogs in the in the gx i'm gonna put the tarp out it's getting kind of cloudy there was a chance of rain but I want to pull it out and, and practice. Practice? Okay, so change of plans. Not putting up the tarp. This is nothing but rock down here and it ain't gonna work. All right, so that was a bust. If I would have stopped to think it's Nothing but rock. She's hard headed like a rock. Fire's going though, and uh, that means dinner's gonna come right after. It's only uh, 1400, so I'm just gonna chill. All right guys, so I'm pretty much set up. I haven't done anything really. Put the chair up the table, I started a fire. I've got my stuff that uh, is in the back out here, just easy access, the water and all that. But uh, yeah, the dogs are playing. I did want to show you one cool thing. 
about this campsite. Climb up here. Uh-uh, don't go down there. But look at that. That's really cool. There's even, it looks like a little trail right there that goes all the way down. Nice little spot. I'm glad I found it. I almost gave up on finding a spot just because it turned into that fire service road. All the ones that I've seen were just little cutouts right off side of the, uh, the trail. And I, I don't like that. But this one, the trail is right over there, but you gotta cross the, the stream, which works out because tomorrow morning, uh, I'm leaving bright and early and uh, heading home to the family. So tonight, what I'm gonna do is, I'm about to have a good day, no matter what they say. The sun is shining. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of not my own. I'm not about me, girl. Seeing as you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say. But nothing comes out when they move their lips. It's just a bunch of people like you do it. And they make it about Dre. Okay, so we're in for the night. Man, I mean, it's fine. Let me show you how much room we have. We have Cadence, and then we have Athena, which is where my feet would go. Uh, we're gonna have to try some. I just try to move her and she's like a brick. Right now she's nice, warm, and toasty. I don't know if you can see all this mud. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Mud everywhere. And I, I try to clean them as best I could and dry them off because it started raining towards the end, but it's, uh, you know, 6.30. I'm going to call it a night, guys. One thing I didn't think about is being on top of a mountain, there is possibility of flash flooding and that little stream that I crossed to get here. You know, hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy overnight. That's part of the adventure, right? I'm going to hang out, watch a movie, go to bed, and you'll see me in the morning. Good morning, guys. I made it through the night. Didn't sleep as well this time. I slept for a long time though. I turned off the mini. I didn't even f finish watching John Wick 2. I turned it off. It was about 19.15. Yeah, right now, time on back is 0649. So 11 and some change. I needed that feel. I mean, I feel great, but I just woke up multiple times. Yeah, maybe have to think about a little bit more padding. And I hate the fact that the platform sits so high and I can't sit up. It just, it sucks that I can't sit up. Oh, here's another thing. Well, this is about this campsite is, uh, it is, it started raining last night. You guys saw the beginning of it when I was eating dinner, but it hadn't stopped raining the whole night. The first thing I did when I got out was to look to see how high the stream was, but it's, it's the same level. The point is that it's so muddy out here that uh, I didn't even let the dogs out. I carefully walked around and, and cleaned up, gathered everything, and now we're gonna drive through the stream. I'm gonna get on the gravel forest road and then I'm gonna let them out to use the bathroom because this is ridiculous. Man, I feel like I've done a lot of complaining in the, in the first two minutes of talking to you guys. So let me stop that. I'm about to have a good day. It's gonna be an awesome day. I am going to go home, unpack, give the dogs a bath, give myself a bath, a shower, and uh, just hang out with the family the rest of the day. It's gonna be a good day. There's really no point catching the rest of the trail. It's just a fire service road, but if anything comes out, I'll put it on video. But uh, for now, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.